Microsoft has an excellent notification system. When I send an email, I typically receive a notification within a couple of seconds of sending it. Right down here. However, if I exit out of Outlook and send another email, I will no longer receive a notification. I have come up for, uh, with a solution for this problem. After having watched this video, you will never miss an email again in Outlook. Even if I close it, I can write myself a message. Send it off and still receive a notification. Right down here. If that sounds good to you, stay tuned. All right, so the first step is to switch to the correct version of Outlook. Um, so this might not even be an option in a couple of months or years from now, but as of right now, the newest version is still in a bit of a preview stage. So I'm gonna go ahead and toggle that. However, this will likely work in the future without even having to enable this option. So if you're watching this within the next couple of weeks or months, make sure to toggle this and switch over to the newest version. It'll take a little longer than this the first time you do it, but it should look somewhat like this. So if your version of Outlook looks something like this, um, this should definitely work for you. All right, so the next step is to simply minimize the program, and then it should pop up down here in your notification area. If you can't see it directly, it might be hidden um, in this tray, in which case you need to right-click the taskbar, Go over to the settings and make sure that Outlook is enabled in the other system tray icon settings. So just pop that open, make sure Outlook is enabled, and then you should see it down here. Once it's appeared, right click it and select the option which says something along the lines of hide whenever it's minimized. There should only be two options um, or you know a handful of options, and so make sure you've got that one enabled um, so that you see a check mark next to it and from then on whenever you minimize the program it should be minimized straight to your task uh, bar notification area instead of um, the task bar where you can see all your other programs so you should be able to minimize it right to this area right here all right so the next step is to create a shortcut that will open outlook in this minimized mode right here so in order to test this First of all, you're gonna to have to close out of Outlook entirely. So just open it and close it. And then you need to access the run field, which you can either do by pressing Windows and R on your keyboard or typing in run under the Windows search. Then you'll see this open box, type in shell colon capitalized apps folder. Apps folder um, is written together in this case. So it's one word, click okay. And this will open um, some shortcuts to all your different Windows applications, or uh, rather the Microsoft applications. And here you should see a shortcut called Outlook. In my case, I have two because I have the preview build and the regular build installed. Um, since I've been working with the preview build so far, I'm going to continue doing that and create a shortcut to my desktop. So right click it and click Create Shortcut. And it'll tell you that you can't really put it in this location and it'll ask you whether or not you want it on your desktop. So for the time being, that sounds great. Let's put it on our desktop. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and rename this just because I think the dash shortcut um, extension is kind of annoying. That's obviously totally up to you. Now that I've done that, I can go and right click and click on the properties. And then this, Shortcut tab should open right here, which will allow you to configure in which state Outlook should open. So I want it running in a minimized state. So change um, the option from normal window to minimized and then hit apply, hit okay. And now whenever you double click this application, it shouldn't open as a window, but rather in a minimized state, which you just saw happen down here. So once again, if I click out of this, 
by just closing it and double click this it should open in this minimized state and only be seen in my notification area so if that's working you're all set for the next step so i would recommend placing the shortcut in a location where you won't be tampering with it, with it very much and so i'm going to choose to put it in a separate directory so i'll head over to this pc click on my local c drive click on users click on my username and then create a new folder and let's just call it um outlook background and then place this shortcut inside of that folder now we're going to create a script which will make sure that outlook is always running in the background so whenever we close out of it uh, you'll still be able to see new emails coming in and um, still receive notifications even if you've closed out the program accidentally so let's go ahead and click on view and show uh, file name extensions this is important because you're going to be creating a script which um, require, will require us to give it a certain extension then right click uh, any white space within this folder click on new and click on text document and we're just going to call this script dot ps1 which is a powershell script and it'll give you a warning um, you can go ahead and ignore that and just click on yes all right so now go ahead and right click this script you just created and open it using the default microsoft editor or any other editor of your choice so open it and then head to the description of this video and you should find a section called script which includes the script go ahead and copy all that and paste it right in here Alright, so now I've copy pasted the script to this document. Now, needless to say, it's not a good idea to just download random scripts from the internet, but just to demystify what's going on here, basically I'm just setting the location to this folder right here. Then I'm checking whether or not the Outlook process is running. And if it isn't, I make sure to open this shortcut right here, which will then open Outlook in the minimized state. Um, and doing that and repeating that entire process every five seconds so in other words every five seconds I'm checking whether or not Outlook is open and if it's not I open it in the minimized state um, therefore you know it's basically impossible to close it more than five seconds which might be what you want uh, if you clicked on this video so go ahead and save that script and close out of the editor So before you can execute the script, you need to change one setting under Windows. In order to do this, just type in PowerShell in the search menu and make sure you hit run as administrator. And then type in the following set dash execution policy at space remote signed so make sure you type that command um, it's important that you type it just like I did and then hit enter and then click a or type in a and hit enter again and now you should be able to right click the script hit run with PowerShell And it should then, depending on what you do, so let's say for example I close out of Outlook. It should say, you know, the process isn't running and reopen it. So it'll do this every five seconds. And there you go, so it does it every five seconds. Now I'm going to show you how to automate this entire thing so that you don't have to run this manually and it does it whenever you start up the machine. All right, if this video has helped you in any way so far or ends up solving your problem, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell, and leave a comment letting me know what you think. That way, I can keep making these videos. Thank you so much in advance. Back to the regularly scheduled programming. Let's go ahead and automate this entire process. Open your Windows search 
and type in schedule. This will bring up the task scheduler. Right click on this clock symbol right here and create a new task. Call it Outlook Background or any other fitting name you can think of. And make sure you select Run whether user is logged on or not. This will just uh, speed things up later on. Head over to Triggers and click on New. And make sure it opens at Startup or starts at Startup rather. Head over to Actions, click New once again. And then make sure that Startup Program is selected. Enter PowerShell in this field. And under Arguments, I have left a string of uh, characters in the description, which you can copy. Make sure whatever this path right here is, it's the location of your script. So just open up the location where your script is uh, stored, right click it, and click on Copy as Path. And then you can just replace this string right here with the string where your script is located. So what you've just copied, paste that into here, and then you can copy this entire uh, part and add it to the arguments. Click on OK. You can leave conditions the same and settings the same. Click on OK and enter your password. Now under your overview, you should be able to find it by just typing Outlook and double click on it once more. I will go ahead and edit one more property, which is running it with the highest privileges. Can't go wrong with this. Make sure it's selected. Click OK. Type in your password once more. And then go ahead and restart your machine. Once you've logged back in, you can see Outlook instantly opens in the background. And let's say I try exiting out of it by closing it. It should take no more than five seconds. See, it just took a second right there to open back up. Okay, so let's go ahead and test this out. So let's go ahead and close Outlook and write an email. Now, even though I just closed it, within a couple of seconds, I should be receiving a notification down on the bottom right indicating that the script has worked and that Outlook is effectively unclosable and therefore you're never going to miss an email again. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you've enjoyed the video and found it helpful, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and ring the bell. Also, I have a number of other unique and useful tutorials on this channel that you can check out right here on the screen. Till next time.